I think we're live. Hello, everyone. Are we live? Anybody there yet? I see Ella and I see Karen. I'm trying to pull it up on my computer over here. Hmm. I see Erin, Karen. I'm going to pull this a little bit closer so I can read it. Maura Lynch. Hello, Maura. I can't read your comments. I can't see it up on the screen here. Hold on one sec. I'll be right back. everybody. I can't read it on my computer, so I'm going to have to read it on the screen, but I see Cindy Wellahan is here. Hello, Cindy. So why don't we get started with what you guys thought was the best outfits at the inauguration today. Uh, I see uh, Ann Keating. Hi, Ann. Um, anybody out there want to share what their favorite outfits were? I didn't see all of it, but what I did see was pretty impressive. I didn't see Lady Gaga. I got to go and watch that. I heard her... Um, her skirt was amazing. Hi, Kathy Smith. Oh, thank you. I wanted to get your you guys' opinion on this top. I just got it. Do you like it? My husband told me I look like a pilgrim, but I thought it was kind of jazzy. Uh, hello, Sarah Zengo, and Janine is watching. I've got a pair of your earrings here, Janine, somewhere to show everybody tonight. I pretty much emptied my closet so that I could show you guys some of the... Uh, the um, outfits and the inspirations that I have used over the years from the First Lady. Uh, Kathy Smith is saying Jill Biden, and um, yes, I agree, Cindy Wellahan, Michelle. Uh, Ellen Cohen is saying J-Lo was her favorite, and Janine is saying, uh, I can't read Janine's just yet. Sorry, Janine. Diane Webster is watching. Hello, Diane. And I've got Sarah in and she, uh, yes, Sarah likes my top. Thank you. I liked it too. I got a little nervous when I was called a pilgrim. So thank you for saying I don't look like a pilgrim. Uh, JLo is looking great. Yeah, she always looks great. And the new uh, VP, absolutely. I think my prediction is that the pantsuit is going to come back big time. I thought one of the interesting trends today was the monochromatic base with the turtlenecks and a lot of pants uh, and then the matching um, outerwear. I mean, it was such, such a thrill for me to see all that outerwear today because that, as you know, those of you that have been joining us um, for a while, I am a big fan of the uh, of outerwear. And I look forward, every four years, I look forward to the inauguration just to see what everybody's doing with their gloves and their scarves. Of course, this year there was a lot of masks, but um, today just di didn't disappoint at all. There was just so much color. And I also thought that um, the young poet with the with the yellow coat, she took my breath away. I think she was my favorite of, of anyone. Hello, June Tarter. Uh, I'm getting that uh, Lady Gaga was uh, the best. I'm seeing Erin um, Gill say the match is matching the coats. I love that too, Erin. And I see Karen uh, saying that, uh, who is she saying? Uh, yes, um, Dr. Biden, I agree. She looked amazing. And Kathy Smith saying uh, my favorite was the 
uh, tone on tone, tone look totally Kathy that's exactly what I picked up on as well and I thought a lot of the guys the men I was watching early and a lot of the um, the television reporters I, I just loved a lot of their coats had some interesting lining and I just thought everybody dressed. you know I think part of the reason why everybody it got such a big reaction from a fashion perspective uh the team was sending me articles all day long i couldn't get enough of them um was because we're all been stuck at home not dressing up so when you actually see people dressed up it's so refreshing and beautiful and i thought the colors were were vibrant and of course when michelle obama showed up in her just amazing outfit uh, you could just hear uh, you could just see the, the expressions of people. She's just such an inspirational person. And I thought we would start with her um, because she is definitely one of my fashion icons and I have been watching her since day one. And I think for me, um, what she does so well and in such an interesting way, she has a couple things. But as I said in the video today, if you caught the video, um, her she just she's a very tall woman she understands the cut of clothing and how it it really helps build her presence i also love how she uses necklines strategically to really enhance her communication and her strength and her beauty and also her use of color but i think when you're talking about michelle obama i think the thing that she's known most for in terms of style is her ability to mix the high and the low and give her such a regal appearance and also such an approachable and real appearance and I think that people have always reacted to her in that way she's very relatable very down to earth and she has used her clothing her again her ability to mix who, who could ever forget her bringing J. Crew in with her designer um, clothing um, during the first inauguration um, back many years ago now she really set the tone and I have always um, admired her color so a couple things in my closet I told you that I would, would grab some things but this is one of my favorite skirts that is Michelle Obama inspired and I don't think I would have purchased this without knowing who this designer is so it's Jason Wu and Jason Wu is one of my absolutely favorite designers. I got this on the sale rack, the Saks sale rack. Do you guys know about the Saks sale rack, by the way? Every January, they have um, the second floor in Boston, and I've been to the one in New York, and I've been to one, I've been to others. But they, they take all their designer clothes, and a lot of them are in the back, and they bring them out into... Man, I didn't go this year, but in the past, I've gone, I've gone every year for like five years. But I always buy something deeply, deeply discounted. And this skirt, again, it's Jason Wu. You can Google him if you've never heard of that designer. But uh, Michelle Obama made him famous. And if you can just look like the pocket and the zipper. And I have worn this super dressy with the boots I have on. Can I balance? I've got my Stuart Weitzman boots on tonight. I dressed up for you guys. Uh, but I've worn this very dressy. I've worn it with a black turtleneck. And I've also worn it, those of you that watched the video last week, I've worn it with these white booties. So this is one of my all-time favorite pieces in my closet. And I have Michelle to thank for that because I remember being intrigued by Jason Wu when I read about him through Michelle and over the years putting so many of my private clients in his label and them being so delighted because it was kind of a secret for a while to being able to buy a piece for myself. And I wear this in the winter and the summer. I wear it with sandals, I wear it with boots, I wear it with tights. So that's one of my favorite pieces. So let me see if I can read the comments here. Oh, somebody's got, um, Somebody's putting up some of the links. Thank you so much. And I've got Chelsea here. Hello, Chelsea. What's the fun top? For, uh, what's the fun topic for today? We're talking a little bit about the inauguration, Chelsea. What outfits that you like? What was your favorite today? And then we're going to spend the rest of the time talking about some of the iconic looks from our first ladies, like Michelle Obama. Uh, he has another Michelle Obama book. And then we're gonna just, um, I've got a whole rack of clothes and I'm gonna show you how I kind of interpret those trends. 
and wear them on my own. Um, hello, Connie Smith, how are you? And I can't read Judas' message there. Oh, I got Chelsea back in. And so a couple other things that I wanted to share. Oh, and last night I stayed up till two o'clock in the morning because I was preparing for tonight and I grabbed this Jackie Style. If you don't have it, I just, I read half of it last night. It is so well done. It talks about her style, but it also talks a lot about her as a person. And she really didn't like being known as the style icon. She was a editor, she was a writer, and she was always upset that people didn't celebrate her editing skills as much as dress. I thought that was kind of interesting. And I've got uh, an amazing, I can't read that for tonight. Amazing topic. Thank you, hon. And I've got Carol Conley Clement on the line. And there's Sonny. Hi, Sonny. Um, and yes, that is a book that I really love. Uh, so a couple things. If you guys saw this on the video today, this is one of the most beautiful items I have in my wardrobe. It's Chanel. And I emceed a fashion show at Bloomingdale's in Chestnut Hill many years ago, and they gave me the dress as a thank you gift. And for those of you that want to know, um, hi, Mary Beth, um, why clothing costs what it does, go over to Saks, Bloomingdale's, pick your high-end department store, and leave your pocketbook in the car. And go in and just look and feel this actually, this dress has a chain on the bottom to keep the hem down, but I have worn this dress. I wore it the first time I wore it to MC the fashion show. I wore it with a little pair of Chanel pumps. Those were not given to me, but one of the tricky things about designer clothes is you got to go all the way. So for that particular night when I had nylons on, um, I remember they gave me a beautiful flower pin and I wore the pumps, but this had to have been, you know, 10 or 14 years ago. Then about two years ago, I went into Boston for a 50th birthday party and it was a horrific night, snowing. So I wore the Chanel dress with my Aquitalia boots and tights and a shawl wrap. And I think I wore it like that maybe seven or eight more times because the look was so great. And when it was really cold, I put this black t-shirt, I think it's a, a Calvin Klein t-shirt that I probably picked up in the underwear department at Macy's, but I've also worn the t-shirt with the Chanel dress. So that's also channeling my, my Michelle Obama sensibility. I love that she knows how to do the high and the low, and I try to do that as well, but it's just a fantastic dress. Um, another thing about Jackie O that I always think of is her later years. You know, her early years, um, she just wasn't as confident with her dress, but I felt that when she really settled into being Jackie O, Jackie Onassis, like her, her use of black turtlenecks, like look at how beautiful that is. Hers is probably, um, black label Ralph Lauren. Mine is from The Gap, but the black turtleneck I had on last week in the video was from The Gap, and I love it, and I wear it with everything. So all of these ladies who we're celebrating tonight just have a simplicity that I believe is, is, a, is a cornerstone to being well-dressed. I see June Tarter. Are you going to tell us we almost got arrested for touching Jackie's dress at the museum. Okay, June, I'm gonna tell that story. So June Tart is on the line. June was a stylist for our company for many, many years. And we used to do these amazing parties and trips. So when the, uh, the JFK Library opened and had the Jackie Onassis collection, June and I went in to go on this amazing tour. And I touched one of the dresses and the alarm went off and we almost got kicked out of <laughs> the JFK library and poor June almost had a heart attack. But how could I not touch a dress that was that close to me that was once worn by Jackie O? So that was our funny story. But if you guys haven't been to that museum to see her collection of dresses, it's, it's worth uh, going in there. And I've got uh, Sarah, oh my God. June, I love the comment, that's hysterical. Uh, Mary McNally, yes, we will, as soon as COVID's over, we're gonna do a field trip and we're gonna, we're gonna get June's down in Naples,
Naples, Florida. We're going to get you back up here, June. And I promise that we will not get arrested. I promise. I promise. Uh, so another trick I wanted to show you all, I'll go back to this dress, is it's an A-line cut which is usually not my signature cut. I usually wear things a little bit straighter, but this belt, it's from BCBG, honest to goodness, BCBG, uh, one of my favorite belt resources over the years. I, I would be surprised if I paid more than $20 for this belt, but I would often put the belt, can you guys see that? I would often put the belt with the dress just to give it more of a waist. It's a little bit of an A-line for me. You know, Jackie is a signature A-line gal, but that's how I would make it a little bit more fitted. So another example that I wanted to share is, uh, <laughs> take me on the field trip. You're in, Diane, you can come. And, uh, oh, Sonny says she loves the dress. Thank you, Sonny. You can borrow it anytime you want. All these things sit in my closet. The red coat that I had on today, I bought that maybe eight or nine years ago. I think I was always secretly trying to get invited to the inauguration. And boy, was I delighted this morning when I woke up and I had my video outfit all picked out and, it was so close to what other people were wearing. So I was really happy about that. And I, did you guys like the little blue gloves that I had on today? Did you like those? And these came from a consignment store. I am always going to consignment stores. Whenever I see a pair of colored I probably bought these five or six years ago. I've never worn them. Uh, they were so fun on the video today. Um, but whenever I see any, these are so high quality, uh, if I see colorful gloves that are suede or leather, I grab them. So I have these red ones. I'm looking for yellow. If anyone can find me yellow gloves, I'll pay, I'll pay up for those. And my good friend Alexander, who's not on the call tonight, a lot of you met her last week when she stared, shared her amazing story. She is looking for hot pink gloves, and she wants them to be leather. So if anyone has sees yellow or pink, you give me a call and we'll and we'll make a deal. So, uh, loved all the gloves today. I love them too, Kathy. Uh, yes, Sarah loved my blue gloves. Sarah, you can borrow them whenever you would like. And oh, I love that Karen is saying she loved Bernie Sanders gloves. I loved Bernie Sanders gloves. Weren't those amazing? Um, and I love that Elizabeth Warren had on her sensible Parker and her sensible mask because that was very, very much in keeping with who she is, which again is a big piece of fashion, is stick to who you are. Uh, I love seeing all the outerwear, yes, and the hot pink leather gloves would be fab, I, I agree. And then the other, I'll show you these. I am always on the hunt. You guys tell I love what I do. I have little treasure troves, I have boxes, everything's organized, but I have, so many little treasures. Um, these are whenever it's really hard to find gloves that, you know, go up the long gloves. And Jackie O also made these famous. I remember when I got married. By the way, I had the same wedding dress as Michelle Obama. We got married the same year and we had the same dress. I have pictures to prove it. June, I don't even know if I've ever told you that story. I know you love everything about Michelle. Um, but I remember I made my family crazy because I would not get married unless I had white gloves that went up to my elbow uh, the way that Jackie O did. And Michelle, same dress, had the same gloves as well. So I always got a kick out of that. But these are gray cashmere. And what I love about these is if you have some sweaters, like this is one of my new acquisitions. I've, I've worn this, I'm running out of clothes for the videos, by the way. I might have to take a break because I'm running out of clothes. Um, but I wore this over the holidays, the gray cashmere with the gray sweater. Uh, and it just felt so beautiful. I loved it. Uh, so part of the strategy is whenever you bring something new in is to look at it like i walk around the house with my new purchases to see what i have that goes with it um so somebody's saying so cool uh what other questions do we have i had planned to be able to my son tim is not here tonight um if he was here i'd be able to see the comments on the computer but it's just me and my phone uh and june is saying 
Never heard of that story about the wedding dress. I didn't think I ever told you that one. And then we've got Kristen Todd here. Uh, time to go shopping, Wednesday night field trip. Oh my goodness, can you imagine if this group hit the mall? The, all of us just met at some random mall. Those of you from out of state, we could zoom you in. Wouldn't we have a blast? Let's let's try to make that happen. I've got Sonny on here. Um, the gloves are so elegant. I know what they fun, they're cashmere. And someone gave these to me as a gift. It's kind of hard to buy, buy a gift for me. You know who gave these to me is Billy O'Callaghan, my husband's college roommate, always comes every holiday with gifts. And he actually brought me these gloves. And I was like, you go. And I love them. I don't just like them. I love them. So what else do I have here that I can show you guys? Oh, these are like, are these the funnest? These are totally faux Chanel booties with, with the pearls. And totally cheap. I think they're Aldo, like mall, <laughs> like the mall store. Aldo, A-L-D-O. I was going by the window one night and I was like, I love those. They're not super comfortable. I only wear them for show, but I love how the white pearls just, you know, if you're wearing a lot of black leggings, which I tend to do, uh, even again, the skirt looks so great with that. You see that? So that's something else I wanted to show you. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, one thing from the video last week. A lot of people really love the tips that we did about how to wear winter white with regular white. And Kathy Smith on our team, she was on our, our call last week, and she had her cream sweater on with a white shirt. And I almost like went through the screen, screen and grabbed it from her. Kathy, I meant to tell you that I just loved how that looked. You guys see that? So it's so cool when you do the white with the cream. And then... How I like to do the accessories is then add brown. So you're kind of connecting. I don't know if you guys can see this. Those are my white jeans. Got to have a pair of, a lot of people, a lot of people don't like white jeans, but I happen to love them. Um, but the white and the cream can also do it. I love it with the blue. So a cream sweater, a blue collared shirt, and then... Can you guys see this? Um, the brown accessories, really cool. Really soft and pretty. I love it that time of year. And, oh, I have this. This dress is Michelle Obama inspired. Uh, she gave us all permission to go sleeveless, which was so liberating and it was such a big deal. And then the entire world of newscasters went sleeveless right after that. And again, this is a J. Crew necklace that I picked up. A long time ago, but I remember saying, if Michelle Obama can pull off J. Crew necklaces with her designer dresses, isn't this pretty? Um, such a pretty dress. Um, I can. The only thing I don't have here to show you tonight is Michelle made the cardigan sweater over the sleeveless dress, also very popular. The one thing about that, because I, I study this stuff and I kind of know what's high end, what's low end, what's mall brand, what's designer, she always wore Michael Kors sweaters. And the Michael Kors sweaters, they're not like the Michael Kors that you get at Macy's or Lord & Taylor, but the one, the Michael Kors designer, they're expensive, they're cashmere, but they fit. And Michelle's very, um, she's a really strong woman. Over the years, a lot of women that I've worked with that have a really strong shoulder and a jacket just looks too boxy on them. I've done a lot with those Michael Kors sweaters because they're very high quality and they just soften somebody's appearance and a lot of times the people that I work with are on they're speaking and presenting and whenever you can use soften the top end of their wardrobe it's just so flattering so designer dress J Crew necklace I wanted to show you that what else my any other questions uh the white jeans are a must in Florida yes they are June Sarah is saying who needs the sleeves Michelle is so inspirational Michelle really is I just love that woman and I love her kids and I love her husband and it was just so great to see her again in these books so I picked up this is a magazine that I've had um she looks so young there doesn't she but she's got the pearls on and the sleeveless dress but if you go through some of her style and you know the thing I love about Michelle too is she doesn't always nail it I mean there's plenty of times when it's not nailed but because of her confidence 
And I mean, look at that, like the gold, her arms are amazing. Um, she just, she just can carry it. And she's just so beautiful with her kids. Oh, I love, I love that dress with the, I do a lot of that kind of um, halter top. The halter top, if you're someone that's not as confident as Michelle is with her arms, the halter just draws the eye in, which is a really flattering look. And just look, at, the other thing I think about when I think about Michelle Obama is her amazing use of color. She uses the pinks and the reds. And the red that I had on today, oh, there's her inauguration outfit that everybody fell in love with. But the red that I had on today oh, is this brick red, this warm red. It is definitely my red. I can't wear a lot of reds. Let me show you the difference. This is more of an orange red, and this brick red is better with my skin tone. So if I do want to wear something like this, I tend to wear it in the summer, and I tend to wear a little bit more makeup, and I tend to break the line against my face. So I might do a cream blouse, um, but there's a lot, people, I don't go crazy about color. If I like a color, I make it work. Uh, there's some people that are really tied into certain colors, and I will definitely honor that. But uh, I like to break people out of their limitations with color because I think color can really be a game changer when you're not used to wearing it well. And the other thing that I'll share is this time of year, um, you know, pre-COVID, but still in COVID, I love introducing these colors in January, February, March. I just love these strong colors. They get get you through this time of year. So the three that I really like a lot are the winter white and these jet. Isn't that just a beautiful combination for a lot of people? Not for everybody, but for some people. And the other thing I'll say about the dresses, and I just had this conversation with somebody today. If you are on a lot of Zoom calls, if you're working a lot, having a couple of dresses are just easy to put on with a pair of tights. And if you're kind of in a black dress rut, getting a cream dress, this one is actually Talbot's. The other one's designer, but this is Talbot's, uh, can really freshen up your wardrobe. So I wanted to share that as well. So how are we doing on time? I wanna make sure everybody gets off so they can settle in for the big celebration tonight. Um, Kathy Smith, big difference, Mary Lou. Great to show that. Uh, hard concept to understand. Yes, Kathy, agree. Uh, hello, Patricia Muldoon. How are you? Been a long time. Nice to see you. And I've got uh, Michelle. I can see it with a sleeve, uh, white or neutral pump. Yes. Oh, that's the great, you know, great question about the pumps. Um, another person said to me this week, I think it was Diane when I was talking to you, Diane, um, you know, the death of shoes, like nobody's wearing shoes. Uh, but to Sarah's point, a really nice combination with the winter white typically is a, especially as we go towards spring, I a lot of times put a camel or a nude shoe with the cream and it's really nice. This time of year, I've dressed so many people over the years for so many different events. There's a couple folks that I've put in all cream and then popped them with gold this time of year. So a gold shell, beautiful gold bag. Uh, gold slingbacks, just those unexpected things. And even during this time of year, usually when it's cooler, like a, a, a tan or a nude suede pump with the cream. So the suede is a little bit warmer and it really is interesting with the with the off-white this time of year. So great colors. Oh, hello, Joy. Joy, I got your DM today. Um, and uh, I loved it. I didn't get a chance to respond yet, but thank you. You cracked me up when I got that. Thank you. Um, completely agree about the blue. <laughs> the blue, yep, totally. And uh, by the way, you guys can DM us. Do you guys know how to DM direct message? I remember like six months, you know, back in the dark ages, six months ago, someone would say, oh, can you DM me? And I just, would, I didn't know what it was. And now I'm DMing every day. Um, and the funniest thing is I, I, when I finally realized what DMing was, I went to my direct message on my phone. It's Messenger. It's a little blue box. And I had messages from like five years ago that I never even answered. So if you're one of the people waiting for a response from me uh, pre-COVID, um, sorry about that. I didn't, I didn't know that I had messages waiting. Um, but the DM tool 
is a really great tool and we're looking obviously to grow this community so Sarah Zenga who's on the line Sarah is the group concierge and Sarah is happy to take any questions that you have and if um, you guys like this format we can do more of this do you like this format by the way we're back this is how I started it I started by just turning the camera on and, and talking with you guys back in November and then we've done some fun some fun events uh, last week. Thank you all for, for coming last week. It was so fun um, to have you all uh, there with us and to, to meet the team. And we'll do more of that. But what else do you guys want to see us cover? Any other topics that we haven't covered that you'd like? Um, you can reach me. Yep, Sarah's putting up her email and her how you can reach her. And up, oh, Priscilla Fawcett. Hello, Priscilla. How is Grace doing? Priscilla is the grandmother of Grace, our youngest dressing well, beyond dressing well member. And um, oh, you know what else I can share with you guys before we wrap up tonight? We launched two programs since I saw you last. Uh, we launched Stellar Style. Monday night with nine women and Kathy, Mary, and, and Sarah and I. Uh, and it was amazing. I don't know if any of our uh, Stellar Style folks are on. If you are, please weigh in and say hello. Uh, but I have built an entire, uh, like I built it. My husband built me a new studio in our basement. So we have like a, a studio down there that we can teach classes in. So we will be opening up enrollment again for that class. Um, but I'm just thrilled at how it went. It it's really follows the principles in my book. And, you know, when you do anything for the, you know, Sonny's out there. What do we call those, Sonny? Brene Brown, the, the famous speaker. If you guys don't know Brene Brown, get on her podcast list. But she calls everything, you know, it's like everything is the, a big deal when you do it the first time. But we did it. It went really great. And um, that is going to be a standard feature. We also opened up another class called Thrive. We met last week for the first time, and that's a journey that I'm going on with uh, 10 senior executive women, really amazing. They're all clients of our firm, and we're coming together to get to know each other better and to really figure out the next chapter. So lots going on here. Um, so Sonny is saying FFT. I can't, my mother's on the line, Sonny. I can't say what FFT is, but you guys can probably, the T stands for time. First something time is, is the FFT. But ever since Sonny taught me about that, and you guys remember Sonny, she was uh, back with us right before Christmas, did a great presentation on oils and self-care. Um, but Sonny taught me that word, and I sit here every day and I say, FFT, FFT, but it calms me down and allows me to go forward. So um, what else am I seeing up there? Um, Amazing group of women in both programs. Yes, Mary, really, truly, we're so blessed at the quality of folks that we have been able to work with over the years. It, it's just truly awesome. So are we coming up? What's the time? Here's June. Uh, congratulations on your new programs. Thank you so much, June. Um, where are we, how are we doing on time? I could 7.30, so I wanted to wrap up right about now. Any other questions? I can take a couple more. And then I'm going to go change. So you, you, a big thumb up or a big thumbs down on the top. I just bought this top. I bought it online. I kind of like it. Um, and again, my husband was calling me a pilgrim. So do you guys like the top? Uh, first time I've had it on. And I'm kind of kind of liking it on the screen. Uh, I'm trying to add a couple more new Zoom, to Zoom tops while uh, I'm stuck at home and shopping online. Mary, Mary McNally says she loves it. Thank you, Mary, my friend. Okay, well, I will go in and read the comments after after uh, I close down. The ones that I didn't get to, I will answer. But thank you guys so much for coming. And it is such a wonderful day in America. And I hope you can all get on and watch the festivities tonight. I know I'm going to settle in. I've got my fire. I'm going to have a glass of wine when I get off this call and settle in and just watch... Um, the happiness and the joy and the singers and the entertainers and the celebration. There's no big inauguration tonight because of COVID, but that doesn't mean that we can't celebrate um, this historic and beautiful day in our country. So thank you so much for coming, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Okay, see you later. Bye.